Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. It's Mrs. Naughton again here, and I'm so excited to be having class time from my home at your home. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I hope that you have taken everything that we have learned so far and used it to help you become stronger readers. Boys and girls, I know that strong readers read every day. And I know that you are using all of these skills to become stronger readers every day. I wanna review a couple of things that we have talked about and I hope that you are using them as you're reading your Just Write books. The first thing, boys and girls, that we have discussed and started our lessons out was character and setting. And boys and girls, you have done a wonderful job identifying characters in a story and where and when they take place. You have done an amazing job in your independent reading time to find who the character is, who the main characters are, and where they go on their adventures. Last week, boys and girls, we talked about those internal and external feelings that those characters go through. Boys and girls, we talked about how internally we don't always see what's going on. We have to use the evidence from the author to help us. And externally, boys and girls, we have the help of the illustrator and the pictures to help us see what's going on. And today we're going to be doing a whole new thing with figuring out problem and solution. This also involves the characters, so I'm so happy that you already know how to identify those characters. And using that knowledge, boys and girls, we are gonna figure out problem and solution that characters face during a story. So let me show you first what problem and solutions are. So here, boys and girls, we have the plot of the story. And I know I mentioned problem and solution, but first we've got to figure out what plot is. Plot, boys and girls, is the organization of a story. You all know that a story has a beginning, middle, and an end. Without those three important parts, boys and girls, we aren't going to have an organized, entertaining story. So boys and girls, the author uses plot to organize his or her writing. Usually, in the beginning of the story, a character might face a problem, and that's what we're going to identify today. A problem or a conflict, boys and girls, is a situation that the character cannot figure out. For instance, a problem that a character might have is having a friend that is being not too nice to them or they are on an adventure and they're stuck or lost. Those problems, boys and girls, usually get figured out throughout the story. And that takes us to the middle of the story. So we're first introduced to the character in the beginning, and usually they might have a dilemma, problem, or conflict. In the middle of the story is how the character is working to try to solve that problem. So they go through many obstacles and adventures and ups and downs. And that's why you see on my chart the arc of it going up because they're chug, chug, chugging along as they're trying to figure out this problem. They're climbing and climbing up a mountain, or they're going up a roller coaster, boys and girls, and they're trying and trying to figure out that problem. And then 
as we near the end, they start to figure out ways to solve that problem. And boys and girls, that is called a resolution. A resolution is a fancy word to say how the problem got solved. So we're going to take this journey through our reading today, and we're going to start in the beginning and figure out what the problem in the story is. Then as we travel to the middle of the story, boys and girls, we are going to try to figure out how the character starts to figure out how to solve that problem. And hopefully, boys and girls, at the end, we find the solution or the resolution to that problem. So today I've chosen a book for us to take this journey on. All right, boys and girls, here's our story for today. Now remember, we are going to travel through this story and look at the author's plot, the author's beginning, middle, and end of the story. And we're going to see if we can identify using text evidence and clues to help us figure out the problem and the solution. I'm gonna sometimes refer to the problem as conflict, and then we find the solution at the end. Well, here we have our story, Gobby's noisy best friend. Gobby or Gobi? Let's go with Gobi. Gobi's noisy best friend. Remember, boys and girls, if there's a name in a book that you can't read or pronounce, it's always best to try to sound it out and do your best to help find those answers of what it might be. We're going to go with Gobi's noisy best friend. And in this story, Gobi is struggling to figure out how he's going to deal with his friend who is very noisy. So there is a problem and you're gonna help me identify it. So let's start reading. Gobi and Snap lived in the deep down, lived deep down in the blue ocean. They were best friends but they look so different from each other. All right, boys and girls, this is Gobi. Gobi is a fish. And in this story, our characters are Gobi and Snap. How do we know those are the characters in our story so far? Awesome job, boys and girls. You knew Gobi was a character because he is in the title of the book. And we know Snap is now his best friend. It says right here, Gobi and Snap, they were best friends. That's evidence to help me know who is in the story and who, um, what they are doing in the story so far. They are in an ocean and they are best friends. So we already know so much. I also know boys and girls that um, they are two main characters because so far the story is mostly about them. We'll keep reading to see if they are main characters throughout the whole story, but let's keep going. Gobi was a fish with seven fins and no legs. He had very powerful eyes. Snap was a pistol shrimp with many legs. She had big, noisy claws, but she could not see very well. Okay, so they're both in the second page. I'm thinking that they are both main characters, but we got to keep reading to see if they continue to be the main part of the story. I haven't seen a problem just yet. We are quickly getting introduced to the characters' differences, 
but we haven't really been introduced to a problem. I see that one goby has no legs and snap has many legs. There are some differences. I see that goby has powerful eyes and snap could not see very well. I feel like that's help, they can help one another out. So I don't know if there's a problem just yet, but let's keep on reading. Click, click, clickety clack. Oh, oh, what a racket. The noise from Snap's claws scared away many animals in the ocean. Oh, Snap is loud. And she is scaring away all the animals. Hmm. Snap's eyes were weak, so she often got lost in the dark ocean. Clickety click, 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 clickety clack. Oh, what a racket. Don't worry, her best, best friend Gobi was always nearby to take her home. They are really helping one another out. I still notice they are the only two characters. They seem to be the main characters. And boys and girls, our characters in this story, what are they? Let's ask that. We know that characters can be people, animals, or creatures. What are Snap and Gobi? You're right, there's some sort of creature in the ocean. And we've already mentioned that we have a crab and some sort of fish. So they are not people, they are not land animals, but they are animals in the ocean that are creatures or animals. So we already identified our characters and y'all have done such a great job at that. But I wanted you to note that they are not people. And this can't necessarily be a realistic fiction story because these animals or creatures, they talk. And we know that that's not realistic. So number one, it's not very realistic because we don't have people. And number two, the animals or creatures are talking in this story. Okay, so let's continue. I'm still not at a problem just yet. Snap shared her cozy burrow home with Gobi. She clawed away any sand that fell in the burrow. Click, click, clickety clack. Oh, oh, what a racket. Their home was always nice, was always clean and tidy. Okay. I'm noticing something about Gobi. Tell me what you notice. Yeah, he seems to be a little frustrated. And I know that, not by the words, boys and girls, but I know that by his eyes. I know that because his eyes are kind of narrowed and he's kind of looking down at his friend Snap. So I don't know, maybe a problem is coming. We seem to be going up our roller coaster right now. We're not quite there, we're going up. One day, Gobi went for a swim on his own. Oh, no more loud clickety clacks, he said. Do I really need such a noisy best friend, he wondered. Let's think about that, friends. What are you noticing? That's right. I think Gobi is getting really frustrated with the loud noises of Snap. Look at him here. He's free, he's roaming around, he's happy with a smile on his face, and he's asking himself, 
Do I really need such a noisy best friend? Boys and girls, what do you think? You're right. I think he has a little bit of problem. He's asking himself, does he really need a noisy best friend? I'm gonna stop right there for a minute and we're gonna reflect on this part of the story and we're going to put this in a chart. So here's our chart again, boys and girls. In the beginning, we have the characters. We have Snap and Gobi. And so far, they are mostly and mainly all about Snap and Gobi. We didn't quite get to their problem until right about now. We're just chugging along and we're getting up to the, the hill. All right, so right now, we're starting to see a problem. Tell me again what the problem you see happening. Yeah, he's really reevaluating his friendship with his friend Snap. So let's take a look, boys and girls. Let's see if we can get um, this information and text evidence included in a chart that shows the problem in the story. Here we have our problem and you said that Gobi is rethinking having a noisy best friend. Of course, I have to support that with evidence in the story. Okay, I have to support that with evidence in my story. And my evidence, boys and girls, is that he is saying, do I really need a noisy best friend? All right, so let's see. Evidence. Gobi, oops, I don't want that underlined. Asking himself, if he needs a noisy best friend. He also always says, oh, oh, what a racket. Okay, so he knows that his friend is very loud. He knows that he's taken away um, some, he's scaring away some of the sea creatures and he's really reevaluating that friendship right now. So we have a problem that he's rethinking, but we also have to show evidence of that rethinking of his um, rethinking of his friendship. So let's go back to the story and see if there's a resolution. Maybe he stops becoming friends with Snap. Maybe something changes in Gobi's mind. So we got to read to find that out. So let's go back to our story. Suddenly, Gobi spotted two bright eyes in front of him. It was a big, hungry, sea bash fish. fish. Time for a Gobi fish sandwich, said the sea bash and bass. It swam closer. 
Gobi closed his eyes, shriveling with fright. Ooh, that's an internal and external character trait, boys and girls. We learned about that last week. Click, click, clickety clack, click. Oh, oh, what a racket. What's that terrible noise? Asked the sea bass. It was snap. Click, click, clickety clack, clack it. Oh, what a racket. It was too loud for the sea bass. It swam far away. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, what happened? Snap saved his friend, you're right. He is loud and good thing he was loud because he scared off that sea bass. Look at how happy Gobi is. Phew! Gobi hugged Snap. What would I do without, what would he do without his noisy best friend? Look, boys and girls, he's so happy. I can tell that because he's smiling, he's close nearby, Snap, and you're right. The words tell me that he is so grateful. What would he do without his best friend? And here is the end with some fun activities at the end of this book, boys and girls. When you're done reading, you can always read a story again, you can work on your charts, or you can just enjoy the story with the pictures. You can do any of those things when you are finished reading. But since we're finished reading, we need to write down the resolution, how they solved the problem. So let's go back to that chart and see how they solved the problem by using our text evidence. All right, friends, we're on our resolution or how we solved the problem. Now we said that the problem that was Gobi was rethinking having a noisy best friend. Well, something happened that benefited him from having a noisy best friend. What was the solution, friends? Yep. Snap saved the day by being noisy, all right? That helped Gobi know that it is a good idea to have a noisy best friend. Our text evidence, our clues to help us, boys and girls, know that this is the resolution is that Gobi was safe from the sea bass because Snap was a noisy friend. What a great resolution. What a great solution to this problem. I bet Gobi will never doubt having a noisy friend like Snap again. So boys and girls, today and every day, as you are reading your Just Right books, I want you to think of all of these things. First, of course, who are the characters? The characters go through so much in a story. We talked about those internal and external traits. We talked about where they go in the story. And today we focused on the problem and the solution of the story, of how they overcame their, their problems through the plot. In the beginning, we were introduced to a problem. In the middle, they figure it out. And in the end, 
it's solved. So friends, as you read today, I want you to see if there is a problem in the story. I want you to try on your own. If you can identify the problem using your text evidence, you can draw the part of the story that is the problem, or you can use your words and write the part of the story that's the problem. Then, at the end of the story, you are going to tell me how they solved their problem. Of course, boys and girls, you have to use the evidence from the story. It could be from the pictures or it can be from the words. So I hope, boys and girls, that you take all of this information in your brain and you go and you find your just right book and you can find the problem and the solution in the story. Happy reading, boys and, gir boys and girls. Goodbye.